What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody, a.k.a. the Pack God, and Kelsey, a.k.a. Casey Kelsey, back with you again. Quick little announcement, because it's come to my attention, some people, our videos, this is a good thing, our videos are starting to get out there a little bit. We're starting to get some negative comments, which is what happens when your video starts getting further out from your community. If you see anyone that is spreading rumors that are untrue, please just drop a comment down there. We are seeing some people, they they don't understand the butker situation oh. of us throwing his card. They're thinking that it's is... not in, because of his speech. They're it's thinking not that, because of his speech. They're thinking that is the reasoning. And uh, so if you just want to give a little context, be like, Kelsey's a, a cheerleader for the Raiders. He was super rude and mean to them. So that's why something we, fun we do now. That's why we try to throw his basketball card in the basketball hoop to make it for a giveaway. It's football card. Football card. And basketball. basketball hoop. Him playing basketball would be wild. Uh, so he's passed that along. With that being said, fun video today. We are jumping back into some contenders. Now, last time you guys saw me open contenders, there were tears. I, it wasn't just my tears. You were crying too. We were all crying. We were all sad. It was devastating. Was it bad? Uh, yes, because these boxes we found out, they are called Hobby Blasters. Now, we have opened Hobby no Megas, different. Hobby Blasters in other products. And they're no different. No, they are. You get, uh, like, in Prism, the Hobby Megas were the Purple Pulsars. And those are very nice. And ve like, if you get a CJ Shout Purple Pulsar, it is very expensive. Because it only comes out of that one box that costs a lot more. Purple Pulsar. They could have done something similar to this one. And they didn't. They didn't. It's the same exact box. That's so what I'm it's not it's not different. I know, but the other but you're saying all the other ones weren't different. No, either. I was saying select, they're not the same. Select megas are different. Mm -hmm. Select megas you get green, which is super sick. All right. Back so, to the point. My point is these they charge twice as much on the Panini website, exactly the same product. Uh, so we paid forty four dollars a piece for these. So that is eighty eight dollars between these two. Okay. Now, this is the Walmart Mega. I believe this is anywhere from $50 to $60. And this is the Target Mega, anywhere from $50 to $60. Um, in these, you're saying you're looking for one auto or one mem in these guys. And here it says find one auto and two mems. So we should have an autograph in each one of these okay. and most likely a mem in each one of these. All right. So we're just going to do a quick little... Contenders, we're gonna open up all three different variations that exist right now in the wild, and we'll let you know we do have hobby contenders. Now that is legit, that is gonna be fun. That will be on some of the whatnot breaks coming up. I think that's gonna be releasing on Friday. How do you know that's legit if what do you mean? Because I've seen first off a line and they've they've done they've added a lot of stuff. So oh. they're actually they're actually fun to rip. Okay. Some of these products, some products like the hobby is really good, and then mm -hmm. the the retail side is bad. That mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be contenders. The retail have side. You, have you let our friends on here know what we're doing? Together? I have no idea what that means. What we're doing together at the end of July? Where we're going? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I said that. So it's booked. We will be at the national. I didn't know where you were going with that. We will be at the, the national, guys. It is booked. I will be there starting, I think I get in Wednesday, and then Kelsey will get in there Thursday. So we will be there all day Thursday and most of the day on Friday, and then we're flying out Friday night. So we will be at the national. If you guys are planning on going, let us know. Yeah, love we'll to meet you. Try and meet up. Dude, we might even do like a little Dark Horse meetup where we can just say, hey, we're going to be at this spot at four o'clock like old school youtube vine meetups yeah just so everyone can just uh, hang out i don't know we'll see let us know in the comments if you'll be there and uh let us know your you like if you have a whatnot account let us know your whatnot name and we'll see we'll see all okay. right hobby contender blasters, blasters. this one's fat here we this go one's in. the big auto out of this is going to be ar puka also would be super nice to pull as well. We have a lot of base in all these things. Got the, it. Both these boxes have a hundred cards. Oh, Roshan. Roshan, all right. Then a little double. 
Double action. Yeah, you're going to be ripping a lot of cards in this. Mahomes, Baker Mayfield, Amon Ra, Thibodeau, DJ Moore. When you're going, th yeah, keep going. When you're going through those, the only ones you're really looking this for. This one's numbered. Wait, what? That's one nineteen. Or I'm sorry, one ninety nine. Oh snap! It is Billy Sims. Good catch. Twenty eight out of one ninety nine. Wow. I would never have saw that. Anyway. When you're going through the base, the only thing you're looking for is Stroud, Levis. Or uh, young. Those are the only people that have but rookie. So like, what's card? the difference between these two cards? This one has blue foil. That has a blue foil. Yeah, that's the teal. Very true. Good call. Good call. Well, I just made observations. No, you're hundred percent right. I couldn't tell the difference. You these could, are these you, are. You could have if you were under the right light. These are very um, absolute absolute vibes. Yeah. Of where it, there's not really too much going on with the parallels. No. They could have they could have done a lot more with the parallels, but Ooh. this what do you is. Think a, it is. It's not him. He's not going to front. Um, the trigger for him is uh, is uh, Will Levis. If you see a Will Levis, he is to come. Speak of the devil. A little behind the back toss. All right, that almost came right back to you. Very well. Very well. Um, Contenders product, Janice, is a very heavy auto product. So that's all that matters in this product. Are, you're trying to get the rookie autos. The rookie autos, if you get like a cracked ice, which is out of 25 auto of one of like the top guys, that's going to be one of their best rookie autos. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what you're really gunning for in this product. And that's why some people are saying <coughs> this product's really tough when all of your top quarterbacks aren't signing. Because mm. a product that's super heavy, autograph base, um, none of the top QBs are signing in it, that's tough. So yeah. that's why AR is like the chase of a lifetime because he's the only big quarterback that's signing that in this. Yeah. I would say Puka too is, is probably a pretty big auto in this as well. Because he... It's just really hard to hit his autos. Who does? Yeah. I saw him signing on whatnot or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he was signing a bunch on that. I don't where, know where. I don't know what where was those, that for? I don't, I don't know where those cards are going. I've never seen them. I don't think we've ever pulled a Puka auto. I don't know Trevor Lawrence will take that. Bryce Young. We've never pulled a Puka auto for for our. No. I pulled I pulled it in uh, the prison box. We had a sil we had a silver Puka auto, which was like a five hundred dollar card or something ridiculous like that. But I don't think we've ever we've this never, one first. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Walmart. We've never pulled one for our own collection. No. That's definitely one that would a card that we would we would definitely keep. The Puka thing. Yeah, I like. I, I'm a big fan of Puka. I became a big fan of him watching him late in the season. I just like I like the way he plays. He plays tough. He plays hard. That was a Bryce. It was, wasn't it? I think so. I might have been wrong. Oh, you might. It might have been Adam Thielen. Yeah, it was Adam Thielen. I thought it was a Bryce. Thielen hurts Those on the copper. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of parallels coming up with these guys. And then a couple base. Kind of all over the place. Yeah. Mister Reed. Ooh, there's a red. And Addison. All right. What are your thoughts on contenders? This is your first time like actually... Absolute vibes. Actually opening a lot of it. Okay, another attempt here. Oh, we're going to go... Okay. We're going to do ball-up technique. Boomerang tech ball-up technique. Wow. Shot put. Hmm. I will say it is fun trying to find all that stuff afterwards. Because I'll just find cards in the middle of nowhere. I'll be like, where the flip did this card come from? <laughs> <laughs> when, where, the when heck, was, where the heck did this... When, oh, there's a oh, we, auto. Okay, that, okay we, we are supposed to get an auto. Yeah, For a second, I was sure. freaking out. I was like, oh my yeah. God, we hit an auto. Yeah. Supposed to hit an auto. Yeah. That's honestly not that terrible of an auto. Zach Evans for yeah. the Rams... Not that terrible. We'll take it. And I, I, you know what? I appreciate you, Zach, because that's a legit sign. Like that, he you actually signed his name. his name. Yeah, you see his name. I appreciate that. We'll put you in the back there, brother. Pickett, Smith, Trevor Lawrence, 
I can't believe we, found, we haven't found a, a Stroud. Haven't seen a single Stroud yet. Oh, that's the trigger. Wait, those are... That's the trigger. Stroud should be coming soon in this pack of the next. Or maybe the... Did I say the trigger is Levis? I think I did say the trigger You said it was Levis. Yeah, yeah. It, should be, it should be in the next pack then. Should be in the next pack. All right. So you can see how something like a product like this, I think after a certain period of time, you kind of just get to the point where you're like, why the heck am I opening this? Yeah. You're doing it for the autos. It's absolute vibes. We're doing it for the autos here. We're looking, we're looking for the sick autos. But you got the, you got the rhythm down. Oh, another Levis? Where's the hex of Stroud? How are we getting two? Maybe, maybe it's a different print run in the Megas than the Blasters. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, we still had two packs left. No, but it should. He should, should have been. been like right he should have been like right after Levis. Yeah. So it might be a different print run. Has to be. There's a Bryce. We'll take that. There he is. Oh, oh, we'll take that too. Who's he with? Pierce? Tank Dell. Is that Tank Dell? Mm hmm. Is it really? Yeah. All right. Darren Hall and DTR. I mean, he made an appearance. He, he doesn't have to. He doesn't sign, so outside of like the teal card, that's one of his best cards. In, there he is. There he goes. See, that came after the left. Oh, it's after Bryce Young. I'm an idiot. Bryce Young's the trigger, not Levis. Bryce Young's You don't have to call yourself an idiot. Well, I am. No. And I'm fine with saying it. No. If it's real, badge it. Okay, Hooker and Trey Tucker. Honestly, not the worst box in the world. But not the best. But it is going to be tough. If you buy these retail, it is going to be tough to get your money back on this product. That is facts. But if you are hunting those, you know... Rookie ticket autos. I mean, look how sick that card is. That is a sick rookie ticket. Like, that's a sick auto card. Yeah. So if you're hunting it, which a lot of us are, if you find these boxes on your shelf, just pick one. Don't up. buy the don't buy the hobby don't buy the hobby losters. And honestly, I don't. I think the megas are probably better than I. I whoa! Wow, that's great. Stroud and Young? All right. This is, this is off to a very good box. This is the Target one? Yeah. This very is, good box. This is the Target one. Um, but I would say, I would stay away from the Blasters unless that's the only thing you can buy because I think there's only a handful of autos in an entire... Yeah, that's nice. There's only a handful of autos in an entire case of Blasters. So, I thought we got the same auto. I thought we almost got the same auto. You and the Rams. Hey, we didn't get points either, so we got two autos. I'll take it. Nice. So like I was saying, I'd go with the Megas, because you're at least you're gonna be guaranteed an auto or points, versus Blasters. You could open five, six Blasters and not get a single auto. So, stay away from the Blasters. Try to get your hands on Megas. I would not pay more than retail for Megas because they're not incredible. At, at the price point that they are right now, I think I think they are decent. It's a decent rip at the price point, but I would not pay anything more than the $50 or $60. Thibodeau. Mr. Thibodeau. Oh, JSN. Wow, this is this yeah, is a look really at, look at the print on it. This is a really good box, though. Setson's in it. Right, two more packs left. You're flying. You're like you're like turning into a legit breaker in front of our eyes. You're not even saying anything about the cards. You're just ripping. Yeah, I I don't know. I well, you don't you don't sugarcoat anything. Like if you don't like cards, you just don't say anything. You just stay super quiet. You see you with the red. You just stay super quiet. Yeah, I mean, if I have nothing nice to say, why say anything at all? I guess. Yeah. That's what I was called. Right. I guess. I just that's how you guys know whether or not Kelsey likes a product is her mood and like how much she talks. If she doesn't talk at all and she's super quiet, 
absolutely despises the product. And we can tell the two products that she's never talked during a show, during a video, absolute and contenders. A chain to finish it off. All right, honestly, could have been a lot worse. Could have been yeah. a lot worse. Yeah. But well, we got some decent cards. Yeah, we got some Strouds up in here. We got a little duo on the quarterbacks. <clears throat> Tyson Badger. I like the duo card. That was yeah. that was a nice nice pull. Yeah, a little Bryce Young on the red. Will Levis on the copper. T Law on the red. JSN on the rookie ticket. We got a number draft class for uh, Billy Sims. Our autos were our autos were weak, but to be fair, like I think these boxes are going to be loaded with these type of autos, guys. To think that you're just going to open one box and hit an AR. He's got a cool signature, too. You need to immediately go and invest. I mean, that looks like an E and not an S, but you know. In lottery tickets, if that's the case. Because I think these boxes are going to be littered with guys like that. So, that's going to do it. Contenders, hobby contenders, megas from Walmart and Target. What did we learn today? We learned a couple things. Stay away from anything that is hobby blasters, hobby mega, until you actually know they're different. Don't just go on the assumption that Panini will do the right thing and make them different and not charge more. Um, megas, I think, are way better in this product than the blasters because you are going to be guaranteed one auto or points. And uh, that's that. Go out there. Happy hunting. Good luck. Let us know if you do hit the AR auto because that is the biggest rookie ticket you can pull out of there. Also, let us know if you're going to be at the National. We'd love to meet you and just talk cards. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.